Every day I get to work with extremely talented people from different studios all around the world, and every day I'm learning something new. And it's making me become a better engineer faster than I would at other companies. As an engineer, my job is to realize the vision of the artists and designers on the project. Specifically as an online engineer, a lot of that is providing the infrastructure for multiplayer, for stat tracking, online services, and things like that. I have two responsibilities on a multiplayer title. The first one is to link uh, players together to to permit them to play together the core gameplay of the game. The second part is to bring new services and new experiences on the back end. Well, mostly I handle uh, the part of, about the online interaction, the interaction between players, uh, the client-server communication, and uh, basically anything that has anything to do with the network. Every game now has these features and needs to have these features to be successful in the marketplace. And so I know every day that when I come into work, the work I do is very core to the outcome of the project and the success of it. There's a lot of variables going on. You need to think of all the different scenarios, all the different connections, all the different ways things can go wrong, and also all the ways that we can connect people. As we are innovating and solving new challenges, uh, the question is about creating our own tool to solve uh, problems never seen before. For example, the next gen is bringing new problems with interaction with players on tablets, smartphones, and uh, Nothing exists for that. Online programmers get to work with like the best of the emerging tech. Like online's a big deal for all the next generation consoles. So we're like at the forefront of the technology. In our job, we are always seeking for new ways to support more and more players. So uh, we are not only looking for new technology; we are creating them. Now we have things like free to play, which didn't exist five years ago. We have amazing amounts of stat tracking, amazing open multiplayer worlds that couldn't have happened five to eight years ago. It's really inspiring because I think about where we are now and just wonder what things will be like in five or ten years. The challenges are unique because they bring a, a new creative vision each time, so a new way of doing things, a, a new game design. You can bring all ideas from an old project to a new one, but uh, usually you, you start fresh. There's a huge variety between games like Rocksmith 2014, Ghost Recon, Far Cry, and that variety of games gives a sense of stability because these franchises are going to last for years but also it allows me to grow professionally within Ubisoft and not working on the same franchise year after year or in the same engine year after year. Every time we release a game is uh, an extraordinary professional experience for the whole development team. It's, it's really scary as well, like if we make a mistake then millions of people will be impacted by this mistake. But also if we, if we do a good job then millions of people will like, find joy in the product we're making. It's very important to me to be able to show what I'm doing uh, to the people I love because uh, you don't have this chance as a programmer in another industry. Graduating any kind of school or any kind of program isn't an end, it's a beginning. And whenever you start working professionally, you will always be learning. And at a place like Ubisoft, you're going to be able to learn very quickly because of the talented people that work at Ubisoft, but also the great brands and the great engines that Ubisoft developed.